Okay, so we're going to construct a triangle just to give you a little help because I know some of you just feel better having a model. Um, we're going to construct a triangle using the side angle side. Now we did practice this a lot in the last class, but sometimes I think it's helpful just to have a picture. Um, sorry, I'm fixing my camera here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we are going to construct a triangle. So this is very similar to what you have to do. We're going to say it's going to be triangle ABC. Okay, so triangle ABC we're going to construct. Let me zoom in here. Okay, and we're going to say that line AB, this is the information that they're giving me, is 4 centimeters. Angle B is 70 degrees and angle BC is 5 centimeters. Now once I'm done correct constructing they might the extra directions may say measure line they might say like CA or your AC okay so we're gonna measure that third the third line and it might even ask you to measure an angle. But for right now, I'm just going to do measure the third line. We'll, we'll measure the angles as well, but just want to show you kind of what this would look like. Okay, so this is called, this is triangle. We're going to make triangle ABC, and we're going to use the theorem side, angle, side. See that? Side, angle, side. Okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is construct a four or five centimeter line. Now, I don't care which one we start with, but we just have to make sure we label accurately. So I'm gonna start with AB, and I'm gonna make that four centimeters. All right, so this is my four centimeter, this is my centimeter side of my ruler, okay? And I'm just gonna draw a four centimeter line. And I'm gonna label it A, B. Now the reason why I'm starting with A and going to B is because my angle B has to be 70 degrees and that's going to be my next construction. My next part of this is I need a 70 degree angle. So what I'm going to do is turn my paper around. This is why I sometimes using the paper and pencils a little bit better than the digital tools because I need to construct an angle coming off this side. It's going to look something like this. Um, it's going to kind of like that. Okay, now I'm just guessing that's about 70 degrees. This is like my thought process, but I have to rotate my paper around and I need to make sure I make an accurate 70 degree angle. So I'm going to put my angle vertice right here on my circle of my protractor. And then I'm just going to make sure this line is lined up nice and straight. There we go. Okay. A little less precise than if I were using the digital tools, but that's okay. Now, which 70 do I use? Do I use this 70 or do I have to use this 70? See that 70 up there? Well, remember, I need to make an acute angle. So if I use this 70, that's going to be obtuse. See that? So I don't want to use that 70. That's the obtuse angle partner, 110. I don't want that. I need this one, the 70 on this side, okay? So I'm just going to sketch a line, and I'm not going to make it super dark. I'm just going to kind of just do this number like this. All right, so let's label what we got, okay? So now I know that this is a 70-degree angle for sure, okay? And I'm going to show you again. See that? It's pointing right to the 70 okay and the reason why I didn't use that 70 is because that would make an obtuse angle with my line and I don't want that all right so we're good so far so good okay check so check check all right the last part of this is just this line segment B to C has to be five centimeters that's a little longer than five centimeters so I'm gonna double check Oh, it's so close. Look, I mean, it's like really, really close. So I just have to put a little dot where the five is and just erase this extra piece. And then I can make this a little darker now that I know this is five centimeters. Okay, five. 
centimeters, four centimeters. Okay, I'm done my construction, right? I made an, a line segment, A, B, that's four centimeters. I made an angle that's 70 degrees, check, and I made a line segment that's B, C. Now, all I have to do to fulfill the task is measure the last line segment. Now I wrote C to A or A to C. Same line segment, I just need to know what this is. So I'm gonna just draw a line to connect and then I'm gonna measure to the nearest whole centimeter. Now, look, I'm looking at this and it's like a little over five, right? So I can be precise and I can say like 5.3, 5.2, or I can round to the nearest whole number because the directions did say that I could round to the nearest whole centimeter. So this is kind of like in between five and five and a half. So you use your best judgment, okay? I might wanna say 5.3 or I could just say about five or I could do about five and a half. This is where F, when I'm looking over your work, I'm gonna have a little grace, right? Because this is pretty close to five, a little over five, but in between like five, five and a half, okay? So any of those answers would be fine. I'm done. I just constructed a triangle using the side angle side, okay? So if someone gave me this information about a triangle and asked if the two triangles would be congruent, I would say yes, because using that side angle side theorem, if I know that my two triangles have a side of four centimeters and my two triangles have angle B that's seven, 70 and my two triangles have the other line segment that's five centimeters, there's only one way I can make this triangle. It's right here, four, 70 and five. Angle, side, angle, side, okay? All right, in the next video, I'll do the other one, the harder one.